Hello everyone and welcome back to the new series. So we're going to be doing a event boss guide on the brand new event boss, uh, Alilia. This is the Awaken Lilia of the trio of Catastrophe character event bosses that we've got. And this is we're going to be running. Basically just humans. Uh, of course we've got Kizuna. If you don't have Kizuna you can use you. If you don't have you, you can use uh, another stat booster. Rock, uh, Mikasa once again can be replaced with Rag Barn if you of course don't have Mikasa. And then, of course we have Roxy and Escanor who are our main DPSs. Uh, you can really replace Roxy with any other human DPS. I just went with Roxy because of the double hit. Plus this event boss is red. Also, quick background about this boss. You've got to check out the uh, passives for it. I highly recommend checking out the passives. As we come here, we go to passives. This boss takes 50% more damage from skills that increase ultimate move gauge. So Eskinor's single target skill increases ultimate move gauge. 150% more damage. Uh, unknowns do 30% more damage. And the boss does thirty percent more damage to goddess. It's just letting you guys know. It all, I have a look at these beforehand, uh, just so you guys, you know, you know what's coming up, sort of thing. Uh, I'm going to be using a random AI. I'll grab one of my friends' AIs. Here we go. We're running a very similar team. I've got Kizna, mainly for the uh, stat boost. You don't really need to run Kizna. You could actually probably get away with running Red Arthur, uh, the Excalibur Red Arthur. This Arthur because he gives you damage boost per. I think it's per human. So you get like 60% damage boost, so it's quite good. But let's get into it. We're not going to run any food, don't need to run food. Uh, I'm hoping my Roxy's on attack crit. I didn't check. She might not be, but I'm hoping she is because... Yeah, this is the Awakened Lilia. This is like massive Awakened Lilia. You have big Awakened Lilia, then you have massive Awakened Lilia. This is massive Awakened Lilia. She's huge. Well, the snake's absolutely massive. As you can see. It's nowhere near the normal, the normal awakened Lilia snake size, which is like tiny in comparison. Uh, he might just steamroll everything. But I think is I had enough CC to probably do this solo. There's the crit, so we get the double hit from single targets. Roxy's probably just gonna shadow realm this boss because she hits really hard, especially with relic. Okay, not really. Maybe this boss has a damage cap of some sort. So I'm running Escador mainly for the uh, flames, as you can see there. Uh. Mainly because the flames will just increase everybody's damage, and not just Escanor's, which is kind of nice. But that you have to watch these animations. There's no skip for this, by the way. <laughs> this is the hardest difficulty. Uh, extreme, of course. I'm pretty sure on the lower difficulties, it's only one... Um, like, one phase. I'm pretty sure. I know on the bottom one, there's only one phase. I'm not sure about the others, though. And then we wipe here, because we've got like a million cards, a million single targets, and there's double death damage here. This will then do double death damage again because of Roxy and Escanor. And then my Roxy gets to finish. This boss is super, super, super simple. There's absolutely no problems here with this boss. But yeah, super easy, no problems with this boss. Uh, next one I'll probably end up doing is Roxy and then of course Easton, I'm pretty sure it's the last one. They did, they did actually remove one of the bosses, I think they removed Camilla. There was a Camilla boss as well, but I think they removed it. But anyway, thank you for watching the video, hope you guys enjoyed, see you next one, goodbye.